What's up, YouTubers? I'm back. Got another one. I plan on fixing the horn button on my here vehicle. That's my Integra. I haven't done nothing lately on this one either, but uh, I'm back. And as you can see, my horn don't work. This is a uh, GT Grant steering wheel. Everybody buying NRG and, 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 and Momo and all them dang on things. This old school right here, GT Grant, five boat. The new ones are six. So uh, I just put a Honda horn button in the middle, but uh, my horn don't work. So I'm gonna show y'all how to get your horn to work when you remove the factory steering wheel because the uh, horn is made into the factory steering wheel, SRS and all that, uh, all that stuff is. So uh, once you remove the uh, factory steering wheel, you no longer have a horn, and uh, we 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 go we go change that though. So let's get started. What you want to do is go under the bottom, and uh, it's bright out here, ain't it? Can y'all see that? There we go. These two uh, screws out here, remove them. Once you remove them, just blast plastic cover should come off, and uh, we gonna take it from there. All right, I lied. I told y'all it was two screws. It's actually three. It's the two up here and one right there. If you can see that, yeah. My camera tripping, but yeah, one right there. So pull those three out, take off the plastic housing. All right, so once you get the uh, the plastic housing from around the, the steering wheel, it's gonna be exposed. And I'm assuming you guys already done Swapped your steering wheel and got all that airbag and stuff out of the way. But this video ain't about that. You feel me? They have never been about that. And you like, hey, hey, my, my horn don't work. This is where this step right here kick in to get your horn to work. So you got to locate this harness right here that went to the uh, the steering wheel, the SRS uh, airbag connection. And inside this, uh, let's see if I can get it to. Oh, man, my camera is whack. Um, let me see this. Uh, okay. All right, my 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 camera don't seem to want to focus on this pin, but ah uh, man, it's ridiculous. But anyway, in, inside this this connector right here, you can see there's three uh pins, prongs, or whatever you want to call it. The shiny ones to the right. You got one, two, three. You need to figure out on your car which one of those is uh, for the horn. And what you want to do, you want to touch it with something uh, metal that's grounded. What I'm using is a uh, uh, a test light. This is a test light. And you know how I had an alligator clip? I have the uh, alligator clip. All right, my phone is back, y'all. I have the alligator clip or camera. I'm using my phone as a camera. I have the alligator clip connected to metal right here, which is ground. So I'm gonna use this because it has a, a pointed tip to touch that uh, that uh, that pin. Well, my son is gonna do it because I don't have enough hands. So here we go, son. Okay. And as you can see, he's gonna touch it. <coughs> do it again, one more time. Okay. There we go. And you see it make the horn go off. Thank you, son. Appreciate You're welcome. it. Yeah. Mine with the connector facing this way and the actual uh release mechanism at the top my horn pin is the first one on the left there we go it's getting a little better the first one on the left is the that's mine so obviously we need to tap into that wire to make the horn work and that's what we gonna do either you can put a uh you can put a uh uh what you call that you can put a a male pin or something in there or if you don't have one like me I don't have one the wire is exposed in the back all you got to do is tap into that wire splice into it and that's good enough so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna splice into that wire and I'll show you the rest all right in case your uh, car is like mine the wire I'm gonna be tapping to is the uh, blue wire I'm sorry for my cam my camera for some reason it don't want to focus but it's the blue wire. I'm going to tap into that. The way I'm going to tap into this uh, blue wire right there. Let's put a torch. Just uh, a little handheld torch. See that right there now? 
I can't do it and hold the camera, but I'm just going to put a little heat on that. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I just wish my phone would focus better than what it's doing. But I'm going to go put some heat on this blue wire. And once that rubber get hot, it gets soft. Just peel it back. It'll expose the wire. And then um, I'm going to use this wire and tap into it. This ain't nothing but look like speaker wire or something. I just found it in the garage. It's the horn button. It's not high voltage or nothing like that. So you don't need a real thick gauge and all that kind of stuff. So this speaker wire work. All right, as you can kind of see, because my phone or backslash camera is acting real shady today. I twisted this wire into the blue wire. Uh, I don't know, man. I can't get it to focus. But I twisted it into it. And to make sure that this wire has good contact, instead of touching the pin now, use that same grounded wire or whatever you're using. I'm using a test light. And instead of touching the pin, touch the wire that you just added to it. And it should sound the horn. Uh, man, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Alright, that's the wire right there on the ground. I didn't got it all twisted up with my test light, but when I touch, come on, gosh, when I touch the tip of this, it should sound the horn. You see? There you go. So now that I know this wire is uh, good contact and it'll work. So what you go do, there's two steps you can do. I'm going to show you step number one. All right. Uh, I said steps, but I meant options. This, you got two options. This right here is called a, a shoehorn. And uh, this will bolt to the I you see, to the neck right here. And what you got to do, you got to find one of these screws that this will bolt to. And then the tip right here, I touch the back of the, the steering hub. Can y'all see that? Yeah, this right here. It'll touch the back of the steering hub and it'll ground it. And once you ground it on the back of the steering hub, and then, you know, with the wire that goes to the button, it should sound your horn. Or, if you don't want to use a shoehorn, you can make, you know, your own metal, uh, you know, soft metal. that got a hole in it that you can put a screw through it and just make sure that it's touching the back of the hub where it's uh, grounded. And you can use that. So, either buy one of these or make your own... Uh, contraption and hook it up it should work all you need is something to be grounded that's it something that a uh, that that wire that you made a hook to and then ground on the back of the the uh, uh the steering hub so let me get this thing on there and see if i can put it somewhere where to touch so once you know that uh your wires uh how can i say spliced in properly and it's making good contact, go ahead and put some uh, electrical tape over it and wrap that bad boy up and you good down here. That's all you need. All right, so this is all wrapped up. I got the electrical tape on there and that yellow uh, tape that was originally on there, I just wrapped that back around the uh, black electrical tape. So this wire right here is gonna run up to the back of the steering hub and then I cut it, you know, the proper length. So let's get this uh, shoehorn on there and See if I can put it somewhere where it touch. All right, as you uh, go to put up the uh, shoehorn, please, and I repeat, do not touch any of these with this metal shoehorn. These have power to it. You touch it with the shoehorn and grounds the power, and guess what? You can start welding some stuff. So uh, we're not here to weld. So keep this away from this, uh, these, 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 uh, the contact right here. You can disconnect your battery to prevent it, just in case you do hit it, it won't do nothing. But I'm too lazy to go disconnect my battery. So I just wrap mine with electrical tape and uh, hopefully I don't touch it. So uh, let me see what angle I need to get this thing on here. All right, so uh, I got that thing in there. I don't know if y'all can see that angle, but uh, the long piece is shooting this way. And uh, sorry about that. I thought I heard something. I got scared. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to turn my light on so y'all can see it a little better. But the hook part is up there, the round part. And then 
the long piece is going under the bottom. It's kind of tricky to get this thing up in there. It's a little harder than I thought. And then you have to have... Uh, Oh man, my camera is being weird today. You have to find the screw to go in there because the, the shoehorn doesn't come with a screw. Luckily, all the years of me working on cars, I don't never throw my screws and stuff away, so I collect them. And I found one that fit in there. So you just, I bolted mine. As you can see, the stand was like this. There's a couple of these empty slots or screw holes that you can go into. You just gotta find out which one better suits you i don't know if all of them are the same but for me the bottom one right here uh was the best and then all right sorry about that you probably don't know but my phone stopped recording but uh, like i say mine was best right here and i got it to touch so i'm gonna just tighten that screw and then take this uh, electrical tape off this section right here and um it has a uh, female end right here so if you had a uh, male connector you could just slide it in and you'd be good but I don't have one so I'm gonna just take the end of this wire and um, I'm gonna expose more wire and I'm gonna just wrap it around real tight and then put more uh, electrical tape on it it should hold so um, you know we, we see how it go all right so I got everything wired up and uh, like I say the wire I just twisted it onto here Instead of having that uh, female, or what is it, the male connector, I just twisted it around. Now, the tough part is if your horn, most of them, well, the ones I usually get, for some reason they have two wires. You got to find out which one works for your car. Um, I found out it's the black wire. What you need to do is take the wire from the, the steering wheel, put it to one of these wires, and then you have... To place the horn button back in the uh, steering wheel because I think it, it ground itself because that's the right wire but if you leave it off and push the button it don't do anything but once I see if I get it in here with one hand once I put it in the actual location and push it it worked so you got to find out which one of these wires will work the horn this yellow one didn't do anything so I put it on the black one and put it back in and it worked. But to show you again, I just blew my horn, but when you take it out, it don't work. So I think it ground itself once you put it in the steering wheel. So just figure out which one of these wires work your horn button. And that's the one you're gonna leave it to once you figure out which one it is. You can put this back in this uh, location. And then over here, all I'm gonna do, like I say, I'm gonna wrap it around, but as you can see, this wire is way too long. So I'm gonna tuck everything the way I want it to be. And then I'm gonna cut this wire to the proper length. Wrap it around that bronze piece right here. Put some tape around it. Call it a day. All right, so I got the wire shortened. It's gonna be like that. Hopefully it don't uh, interfere with me putting the, the cover back around the steering column. But I shortened the wire. And right here, I didn't put electrical tape because it would have been too hard for me to get tape around it in that, uh, where is that, that location. So I just put a dab of uh, silicone on it. Um, the wire is wrapped around there tight, and then the silicone, if metal was to touch it, you know, it, it's not go, uh, it's like covering it like rubber, and then it'll also keep the wire from coming off. So let me put the steering column the, the, the casing around it and make sure it doesn't interfere with anything I know that right there is sitting on top but this goes down you know so it's not a big deal with the wire being on top of it so we be alright let me just try to put the cover on it before I, I say it's a success but if you look my horn work now so we good let me get the cover back on so it's official we finished Got everything hooked up, you know, tucked away, squared away. That, 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 never mind that there, uh, that gap right there. There's one over here too. Thing is, this uh, hub is too big for this housing, so it it don't let it sit flush like it should. So that always been like that. 
So don't y'all bother me. Talking about I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't I didn't snap it right. It's always been like that. Y'all need to leave me alone. But I got a horn though. So good. Got a horn now. So that's how you hook up a, a horn on a rust bucket. And uh like I say, I skipped a few steps. This is for those who already didn't put on the steering wheel and their horn just don't work and they want to get their horn back because they be about to crash all the time and stuff. I'm a maneuver. I don't mind my horn not working because I'll be like, ah! But if you one of the people that like to blow your horn and aggravate, you know, that's how you get your horn back working. So I hope you liked the video. Like, subscribe, give me one of them thumbs up. That's all I have. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye.